Hi, I'm Tay McLennan, Talent Strategy Specialist at Scottish Government. The Scottish Digital Academy is a key part of Scottish Government's digital skills strategy and the aim is to transform the way government designs services for its users. It provides learning and experience that helps graduates of the Academy to work on agile digital development projects and build services to meet users' needs. The courses range from introductory level for non-specialists to specialist courses for people working in digital roles and training for leaders who are responsible for digital services and programmes. We invited Sarah Davidson, Director General of Organisational Development and Operations, to one of our courses. Sarah wanted to see the Scottish Digital Academy in action and how it's helping to introduce new ways of working. After the visit, we caught up with Sarah to hear her thoughts on why she believes that the Scottish Digital Academy is important to public sector organisations and what her expectations are for those working on digital transformation programmes. Here's what Sarah had to say. So why did you visit the Scottish Digital Academy in action? So I've been talking a lot over the last couple of years about how important it is that we address the talent gap. Uh, talent in digital uh, technology is an issue not just in government um, but right across Scotland but it's really important that we think about how to build the skills of people who are already in government as well as bringing in people into government who've got skills that we don't have. Mm -hmm. So for me there's something about seeing it walking talking in action and uh, understanding how we're now actually giving life to some of the things that we've talked about for a while and uh, making some of our aspirations real. How was your experience of visiting the course? So it was great. I walked in uh, just when the group had got to the end of a design activity and there was the most fantastic energy in the room. They'd obviously really enjoyed uh, the whole exercise of user research and thinking themselves into the shoes of what people wanted out of a service that they were designing. And uh, they'd even got right down uh, to designing the screens that people would look at when they were booking their, their holiday, which was their exercise. So I got a real sense of people engaging in, in, the, uh, in the work. And, uh, and interestingly then, the, the whole tone moved and there was a, a presentation on cyber, uh, which is of course a huge issue for governments, keeping themselves safe from cyber threats and nobody can be involved in developing and delivering services uh, online in Scotland without or anywhere without understanding the nature of that threat. So for me it was really clear that things that matter in government, whether at one end it's user-focused services or whether at the other end it's keeping people safe, uh, really good to see that being covered today. Why do you feel there's a need for these courses? So one of the things that we're really committed to in government is giving people the skills that they need to do the job that's required of them in a modern government. Uh, being successful in any organisation in the 21st century requires you to have these skills. I remember when I joined government 22 years ago, it coincided with the year in which we first put computer terminals onto people's desks. So for me, my whole career in government has been... Uh, it, associated with having to learn how to be more and more effective with the tools that we're given. But clearly, as we get into the 21st century, we're moving into a whole different league with that. And it's really important to me that we don't just go and find people outside in the market who already come equipped with all of these skills and who can leapfrog existing civil servants. For me, it's a real priority to equip colleagues who are already working in government with the skills that they need in order to meet the expectations of service delivery in the modern world. And what changes do you hope people will make as a result of attending these courses? One of the things that we're really keen that organisations understand and that leaders as well as practitioners and organisations understand is that digital is no longer simply about what happens in the IT department. That increasingly people who are working on projects and programmes that are redesigning services have to understand a new way of thinking about service design and service delivery and they have to be able to have authority and voice in those organisations. So I really hope that organisations who send people on these courses, when they come back, make the space for the learning to be shared and for the learning to be deepened and to recognise that um, there are new ways of doing things and that there's a real investment you make by sending someone on a course like this of equipping them to help change your organisation. Um, and there's a real responsibility for those who've had access to this learning as well to deploy it in the way they work and to share that learning in their organisations and to really understand that there are different ways of doing things now. What do you think the overall impact will be of the Scottish Digital Academy? 
So I have an, an aspiration that the Scottish Government will be an exemplar government in delivering uh, transformed services, just services that are designed around people, which are co-produced with people, which are really efficient, effective ways of accessing public services. And for me, the Digital Academy is a really big part of, of meeting that aspiration. So I would like to see it become increasingly uh, an expectation of people who come to work in the Scottish Government that they will have access to really high quality training and development like this that will equip them to design services, to lead projects and programmes, um, and to do that in a way which enables government to be really effective in Scotland. So I see it as a really big contributor, and in a way it's part of us delivering on our commitment to, um, to give people the skills they need, and also to ensure that we are um, doing our bit of in, in enhancing public service. I've made the commitment on several occasions to the Scottish Parliament uh, when I've been in front of committees there that we will do everything we can to ensure that we deliver projects and programmes as effectively as possible, as efficiently as possible and in a way which delivers the best possible public service outcome. And I've said to them throughout that I see skills as really being a very big part of that, both attracting and developing and retaining. So for me, the Digital Skills Academy is a fundamental part of that jigsaw. And finally, what would you say to someone considering attending these courses in future? I would say do, do come. Um, I would also say think uh, really carefully about how you're going to deploy the learning when you get back into your organisation. Have a very clear understanding contract with your line manager about being able to set aside the time for it and being supported in applying the learning when you go back. It's clear that these courses are designed to support people in particular roles and uh, the right time to do this is when you're about to step into a role like that and it's designed to make you more effective. So choose carefully when you do it, get the set up right and then really use the skills when you get back into the organisation. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening and please get in touch if you have any questions or would like to discuss your digital training needs.